Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm excited to share with you that uh, how to run the latest uh, WAM 2.2 generating models on MacBook. I hope this video is useful to you. Please uh, subscribe to my channel to stay updated for future updates. Make sure that uh, for your comfy UI, you change it to your comfy UI location and you do a upgrade to make sure that it's the updated latest code. So usually you do a git pull for that. Yeah, after the git pull, you also need to make sure that you activate your Python virtual environment if you use that. So in this case, I'm using the comfy UI EMV virtual environment and then I will need to do a uh, installation of the requirements.txt. For the installation of the downloading of the model, I included them in my workflow and also you can check out my previous uh, video about the WAN 2.2. I think they are very similar. Um, one thing to notice is that uh, uh, we will be using the GGUF formatted model because it can save lots of disk space. Usually you can do Python main.p, but uh, for some reasons, I think sometimes it complains about uh, the running out of the memory. So I think it just suggested uh, one setting. So I think this setting can be useful if you are running out of memory. So try this one and press enter to start uh, the server. Before we get started with the actual running, I want to mention that there are three versions of the models for the WAN 2.2. There are the smaller size model, 5 billion parameter model, which can turn text or image into video. There are the bigger model, the 14 billion parameter model. There are two of that. One is from text to video, and the other one is image to video. All three of them can be running on Mac that's really good news. However, for the 5 billion parameter model, the smallest one, it is hard to control the quality. So I don't really recommend that. For the image to video 14 billion parameter model, it's just too slow, significantly slower than the other. So I also really not recommend that. However, for the 14 billion parameter model, the text to video one, it's running great. So I will do a demo running that on my MacBook Pro. Yeah, so this one is uh, what I rec really recommend uh, to try it. So I will upload uh, the workflow to my GitHub repo. So please grab uh, that uh, there and you can drag it onto your Comfy UI web interface to experiment with it. So as I mentioned, there is uh, the GGUF version. So this is the the high noise 14B Q4. You can even try Q3. That can be even smaller size. So this is the high noise. This is the low noise for the 14B. So because of this uh, high noise and the low noise at being running sequentially. So they don't uh, need to be run at the same time. So, so that can save quite a, a lot of disk space. So this one is uh, 514B. The quantized version is about uh, eight to nine gigabytes. So not uh, terribly big. So that's uh, also good news. And uh, another modification that uh, you will need want to do is to like further optimize it by using a LoRa. So this this LoRa can uh, greatly decrease the number of steps needed. So usually it need like 20 steps. So by using this LoRa, you only need a six. So this is a six. So the first step is for the high noise. You only need a six. You do three step you, from six, the total six, zero to three. And then from three to six is the low noise. So high noise, low noise, and uh, and uh, then I think the, the other things that you may want to do is to uh, do a customization of the video size. So this one is the video size. This, uh, um, if it's a bigger number, it takes a longer time. 
So usually for MacBook, because usually it takes longer, so we, I really recommend to start with something smaller. So for example, this one is 420 by 240, and you can try to generate less frames to see how it works. So I set it to 81. And then also make sure that the sampler name starts with the older and the simple scheduler for high and the low for both of them. So this one is another Laura, but I commented it out because I think it affects the generating quality. So I don't really recommend that, but feel free to experiment with it. Um, another thing that uh, you may want to experiment is the strength of the Laura. So here I set them to uh, both of them to one and then the CFG value can also affect uh, the generating quality. So this one, I set it to also to one, but uh, you, you can go up them like two or three, but it should be fine. So for the prompt, we can experiment with some of the prompts. So in here, I will just do a car racing on the street. So this one is a simple prompt to see how it works. All right, so let's uh, press the run button to get uh, things uh, started. So as you can see that uh, the GPU is at 100% utilization. For the CPU, doesn't use uh, as much as the GPU. For the RAM, as expected, it uh, uses quite a lot of the RAM. So because it's a unified RAM, so some, some of the RAMs are used by the GPU. As you can see from here, the Python 3.10 use about 23 gigabytes of the VRAM. All right, we see on our terminal, we see the progressing bar. So for the high noise inference, there are total three steps. Estimated time is about two minutes and 30 seconds. So the total time should be around five to six minutes to generate one video. So after the high and the low, inferencing three steps for each, total six steps, we see the total time used is about uh, five and a half minutes. And then I think the last step is uh, the VAE, the one VAE part. All right, so the total executing time is uh, about 400 seconds. So let's see the results, how it looks like. Wow, we see that uh, it works uh, lovely, right? And we also see the environment, it's also very realistic. And we see the inferencing speed, it's about uh, 550 seconds for each iteration. The low is about uh, little slower, 55 seconds for each iteration. Yes, we, we do see that everything works uh, as expected. And it, uh, it's not uh, terribly slow. So I think that's also good at things. I think uh, we can keep uh, uh, experimenting. For example, we can even decrease the steps further. I think if we can use uh, some of the more advanced uh, LoRa for that, I think uh, uh, let's uh, hop on that. Overall, it, it's a nice experience. We don't see any warnings on the terminal. We can use the, our GGUF, it work, works wonderfully. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and share it. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.